Welcome back everybody, Kai Swans here with another episode of Football Manager 2017 with Bristol Rovers and big news, uh, since last time we've made a transfer. This is the guy here, Arnold Asoko, Congolese International. Um, I'm, I'm a bit worried he'll be called up for, for games, but look at him, 18 acceleration, 17 pace, good finishing. Unfortunately, his crossing his first, first touch and technique is not the best, but he's got some brilliant mentals as well. 14 flair, look at some of these are brilliant. Composure and decision making, not the best, but off the ball, 15. This guy is a level above. Let's let's just compare him with, um, oh, actually, let's first look at reports. Oh yeah, McDermott is clearly the second best, and let's compare him with... McDermott, Donald McDermott uh, attributes. Okay, <laughs> Donald wins hands down um, technique. Mentally, I mean composure, some of the good ones go McDermott's way, but physically he's a god. So let's compare him naturally to the, the other super fast player, Kim Moya. Okay, he's a bit slower, apart from that. A level above and Kimway has been pretty good for us this season but that doesn't mean I need to show you what's happened this season and it has been good really good now you may be thinking like that's not that good considering we're expected to be relegated I take great pride in these results and another thing that's amazing is uh, if we look at these so since the last time what was it Swindon away we drew our first home game notice I said home game we then beat Wigan at home, lost, uh, drew away, lost 3-0 to Burnley, they just smashed us away, but then we won at home, won at home, lost away, won at home, lost away, won at home. Our home form has been incredible. We've only failed to win two home games and they've both been draws so far this season. I think that's incredible form. We've really made it into a fortress and as you can see we're selling out every game. 12, 12 k fans okay this game aside peterborough we did not quite manage to sum up but every other game it's just incredible uh okay i'm brentford <laughs> peterborough and brentford what do they have in common didn't sell out for them but yeah it's it's been really good so away from home not the best form we've only managed one draw away from home since last time so not the best of <laughs> away form but Ah well, it, considering where we're meant to be, and some of the teams we played, okay, we lost 3-0 to Burnley, uh, but, but say QPR, we just beat QPR at home, incredible result, Redmond's out for a few weeks unfortunately, I think it's like 6 weeks, 7 weeks, can't remember, um, oh only 3 weeks, okay that's okay, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's been some really good results, beating Reading, Wolves, okay that was a bit of an easy, lost to Burnley, um, but yeah, Birmingham maybe, Birmingham, they got, they sacked their manager right after that game. McGuan, uh, he scored a beautiful goal, it was like a long range strike, just powerful into the corner. Uh, some great results in here, and I'm really pleased, 1-1 one, one against Fulham away is good. Um, okay, now that I look at it again, <laughs> we haven't really done a big upset, but, but these are, considering we're expected to be relegated, if you compare us to the rest of the clubs, we should not be in 7th, which is where we are. We're knocking on the doors of a playoff spot. Now, obviously, I'm expecting it to drop off. Maybe I've upped my target from 18th to, say, 12th, 11th. I'm hoping to get a nice, solid mid-table spot so that we can really improve the squad going in the next season. I do want to see, um, yeah, stages. Let's have a look. Oh, bugger. Um, stages. I missed. Here you go. Home form. Look at that. One point clear at the top of the table. What's our waveform like? I keep missing. Okay, yeah, relegation. <laughs> we're, we're the Burnley of the Championship, essentially. Um, last five games, oh, we're up there. But yeah, um, what did I want to see? Uh, team detail, and then if we go down, let's have a look. Are we still... Uh, i got to move this. Are we still... Here we are. Yep, 24th. <laughs> and we're still paying... Wow loads less than Swindon. I don't remember it being that much less. Uh, we've actually made some transfers, as you saw, uh, I saw. I signed that guy. I got rid of a few guys on loan, so Isoko came in. Um, he was a free transfer, just signed like a couple of days ago. Uh, this guy's fast. I had him on trial for a couple of weeks. Fast, strong, big. I'm quite pleased with him. Don't mind him at the club. Uh, out has been a few players, a whole load of loans, just to get rid of their wages. This guy, he's. we're paying a fraction of his wages at Northampton but he was just going to sit in the reserves and I was going to pay his wages so I might as well pay less of his wages when he's away. Reese Healy uh, out on loan, I had too many strikers, uh, I'm getting his wages back plus a, well I think I'm getting half his wages, a quarter of his wages and 10k a month so overall it's a plus. 
and next season when he comes back and we lose our low knees, he might end up being first team, might replace uh, Matty Taylor. How's uh, the team that's been playing? It's been really strong. I've been very pleased with the team. Um, playing the 4 3 2 1 tactic quite regularly. Um, yeah, as you see here, Jordan Williams has been quite good in midfield. I I'll show you the team actually. Um, I've got the team picked for today already against Bristol City, local rivals. We've got Maxwell and Goal, Grimmer, Lockyer, Pask and Reitler. I don't remember if this was in, no it wasn't the last episode, Broadfoot got injured for a period of games and as a result I think he's lost his place in the starting 11. He's he's really not got the pace to fight back in, 6 acceleration, 8 pace and Hartley actually made it back into the first team. You see he started 3 games with his 4 pace. <laughs> um, Reitler left back, midfield Kane, Cullen and Jordan Williams, they've been my three more regularly used midfielders, although this guy, Maguani, has been really good for me. I, I think he's he's not rated that highly, but if you look at his attributes for a ball winning midfielder, he's got everyone nailed on and I'm really pleased with this guy. Very good. Ollie Clark got a new contract, he's been decent for me. Uh in front of them Donnell Cole and Hmm. I'm I'm yeah, I wasn't sure earlier, but I will play Oriachi. Uh he's got slightly better, he's slightly more in form than McDermott so I'll give him a chance and Ollie McBurney up front our top goal scorer but that's not difficult Luka Belic injured for a few more weeks give me a second, a few more weeks I believe yeah three more weeks uh, Redmond out for another three weeks as well and then Boateng two more months, yay but once he's back we'll have such a strong midfield and this tactic is working really well we're, we're actually managing to keep the ball which is impressive uh, and you can see it's, it's led to some good performances Arnold Asoko will be starting on the bench um, his pace he's, he's effectively replaced Kim Weyer, who's who's played too many games for my liking he's just not good enough but his his pace and acceleration are so useful just to have him and bomb forward at the opposition but that's it for intro today it's a big game if we look here it's the bristol derby i believe yep bristol city the bristol that is even called the bristol derby against bristol city oh local debt um if we just click on here half a million in debt yay didn't mean to do that don't really have a choice it's the, the money's just disappearing where's most of the money going um this season player wages, a lot of it, tax is a lot of it, VAT and other, transfer expenditure, not that much if, if you ask my opinion, although if we hadn't spent anything we'd be in the green right now, match day expenses are pretty high, staff wages, other, agent fees, ground maintenance, yeah, it's player wages is a big part of it, <laughs> he says, it's twice the amount of the second highest, income, we're not really getting that much income, TV revenue, we're getting a fair share, a million, uh, we got knocked out the FA Cup, so there's no more money coming from that unfortunately. Uh, season tickets, we did get 2.3 million, that was quite useful. Gate receipts, we're getting a fair bit, we're selling out every week. Uh, unfortunately, because we don't have the finances, we won't be able to upgrade the stadium for some time, maybe not even until we get to the Prem, so that's a bit of a worry. But we're not going to get to the Prem this season, that's not a worry, because if we got to the Prem this season, we'd, we'd go straight back down. No doubting about it, our squad will not be good enough. I need at least another year, maybe even two, to really build up the team. They'll put in some players who could actually play in the Prem, because right now, if we look at this squad, um, none of them, none of them, um, I only need to look at these four, none of them could play in the Prem, as a starting week in, week out, I just would not trust them, maybe, maybe Chris Maxwell, I just about trust, Donald, uh, Arnold Sissoko, okay, I haven't seen enough of him, and Donald McDermott, from what I've seen of him, I do not trust him in the slightest, uh, Michael Caine, actually Michael Caine, long term, he might be able to play in the Prem, and he's on such low wages. It's so useful. Arnold Soka also on 1.7k, so they're down here. They're two really good players on low wages. I, I like them a lot. But enough babbling. We're going to go on to the game. Oh, I actually did something clever. Ollie Clark, wanted his agent wanted him a new contract. Uh, so I said no, and then Ollie Clark got upset, so I went, sack your agent. He did, and then offered him a new contract. So, <laughs> yay. Not bad. Um, submit team. A squad. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's our winger. What am I thinking here? Auto number. You can have 35. Let's get into the game. Here's our position today. Uh, Bristol City playing a rather 
Strong side, Fielding, a goalkeeper. Ha, get it. Uh, Browning, I think he's the, the Everton youngster, is he? Is he? Yeah, he is at Everton at the moment. Uh, Ty Tyus Browning. Bit worried about him. He seems pretty fast. Flint, Magnuson, Goldborn, Brian, Reed. I recognise that name. Why do I recognise that name? No idea. Just complete coincidence. Uh, Smith, O'Neill, Tomlin. Oh, Lee Tomlin. He, he's quite good. I like him. Um, he's he's good for them in real life, I believe. 20 goals in 80 appearances. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll give him that. Uh, and Stewart up front. They've got one player who does... Uh, two players who jump out. First off, Ekstrand, goal uh, centre-back. Former Watford player. I like this guy. Uh, he's got some good, well-rounded attributes. And I, I'm... Yep, yeah, I, I rate him a bit. Not quite Premier League standard, but I certainly rate him. And Burns, fast winger, slash striker. I'm worried about him. I did a whale save off, off YouTube, uh, and this guy, I actually called up for the Welsh God, and he did really good for me, um, just because of his 16 pace, 16 acceleration, and ability to play as a false knight. Random fact of the day for you, there we go. Um, but yeah, that's our opposition. They're apparently missing a key player, which is very useful for me. Uh, continue to team talk. I'll let him... Ooh! Ooh, he did a good job. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to give my strikers... Actually, I'll give midfield as well. Ooh, this might be a... Right -a You, you... Unmotivatable. <laughs> Is that a word? Fairly ambitious as well. Somebody ambitious and really get, getting motivated. He's still playing for Finland, which is quite impressive, although it's unfortunate because he keeps disappearing over international breaks. Here we see the teams lining up. Bristol City Stadium. What's it called? Ashton Gate. Ashton Gate it's called. Why, why did I forget that? Um, and yeah, Bristol City kick off. They're in red from left to right. We're playing right to left, of course. We've got our nice little checkered blue and white kit. And hopefully we'll get a nice little checkered win. Nice little paycheck when we win. Ah, yeah, that's how we do it. That's the pun. Um, but I don't know if puns are that useful. Let's, I'll see you guys when something actually happens. 35 minutes in and Bristol City have had a slight better of the game so far. Uh, we've had a bit more of a ball. They've had two yellow cards to our one. They're looking tired. Unfortunately, that doesn't really affect until you get a lot lower. But I've been very good at rotating. Not just rotating, but also um, like giving players off training if I think they won't have enough fitness by the time of the next game. I've been, I've been doing that a lot to make sure that the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Lee Tomlin scored. Now, I've realised, and I'm going to actually change my recording software, I've realised I've been recording with OBS, uh, and it doesn't do it when I play, but I notice when I play back the recordings, sometimes it just does. I don't know if it'll do it in this video, I hope not, I hope I fixed it, but if I haven't, I'll be switching recording software again, because that's just not good enough. I, it gives you, it's just terrible to see the flickering, don't like it at all. Um, and we're 1-0 down against local rivals. I've, I've glossed over that fact, they look shattered. But unfortunately, that's not good enough. We we really need to be beating them, not just making them tired. Uh, and at the moment, we're not doing that. So I will tell them it's not been good enough. Uh, and I will also push us forward to be a bit more... Oh, that's a full house. Everybody's excited about that team talk. And we might be seeing Lionel Cole coming off for our new guy. I can't even... Ah, oh, what is his name? Arnold. Arnold Lanolo. Arnold Esoko. That's it. I completely forgot his name. Yeah, thanks for showing me him. Um, yeah, I'm I'm looking at this. Ollie McBurney not had the sort of performance I'd expect from him. We've got 40 minutes left to turn this around, and I'm going to first off get creative. Ooh, they've got attack. Lee Tomlin whips in the corner. Oh, no. Okay, well, Cole's coming off. I can tell you that for free. Giving away a corner. I don't care if he's livid the corner's been given. Shouldn't give away an excuse, pal. We're going to lose to Bristol City. Our, our terrible away form will continue. Isoko, come on, do your best. Show us how it's done, please. Please win us the game. They're gonna. Who's taking it? Tomlin. No surprise. Uh, I see his posters around Bristol. Oh, and is it Obika? Something like that. I can't remember his name. Um, the the other striker for them. It's not Obika. Obika swings to mind, but it's not him. I don't think. Ah well, two 0 down. It could be going better. But it isn't. We've got an attack though, right to on the left, into, oh no, O'Neill hits it forward, Stewart, Stewart's got options, Tomlin running on his right I believe, Brian out on the left here, oh we've intercepted though, Kane, I don't know if you heard that sigh, but that was a sigh of 
despair as Kane just gave the ball away. Uh, I don't really know what to do. I think El Ushere will be coming off. He's just not good enough, frankly. Uh, so McDermott can come on for him. Uh, and do I want to play Matty Taylor? Matty Taylor's just not been informed enough. I think it's something like two goals in the last ten appearances. So, frankly, not pleased with him at the moment. Uh, I'm looking at Kane. He's got a yellow card. Or I'm looking at left back. He's not playing well. In fact, that's going to be it. Despite Lee Brown having an abysmal current morale, I will be putting him on. And that's two substitutions with half an hour left. I'm really throwing the cards in the in here. Um, I might even switch to the 4-2-3-1 if we don't see any improvement in the next five minutes. We've got a free kick. Cullen, put this one in. Beautiful strike. Cullen, having scored two lovely long-range shots against me last season, uh, has put his third one away for this season. And it was a nice free kick. He, he does score some nice goals, this guy. 12 long shots, 12 free kick taking. It's it's pretty good for this level, pretty good. Now if nothing happens shortly, I will be moving to the 4-2-3-1, trying to exploit some of the more attacking areas. In fact, I won't do that, I'll literally just... Ooh, no, cancel, I want to watch this highlight. Tom Linfeld, no, nothing, okay. Uh, I'm just going to move Cullen forward. Double check Kane, no, Kane doesn't like that. Uh, and maybe switch Kane to a box-to-box -box midfielder. Cullen to a shadow striker. Confirm. There you go. Much more attacking. Can we get something from this game? We really need to. It's local rivals and break our away form. Who do? The, the press were asking me about it and I said, oh, I'm being naive away from home. And Well, I don't know if it's quite naive. It's just we're not good enough. We don't have the, the 12th man, but we have a last chance here. Five minutes left on the clock. Arnold into the box. Williams. Jordan Williams, free signing from Liverpool, scored his first goal of the season and it's brought his level in the Bristol derby. What a goal to score. Brilliant time to score. This guy got some good good attributes and so versatile. It, it's incredible. I, I really rate him as just a backup versatile player. Uh, aggressive, determined, hardworking. He'll, he'll do anything for you uh, anywhere and I'm, I just... I like this player, McDermott, picking up the ball in the midfield of Cullen, out wide to Brown, can Lee Brown get a nice ball in, Lee Brown, McBurney, oh it's just over, and it wasn't a penalty either unfortunately, so Bristol City get a goal kick and it's a 2-2 draw, we've, we've failed to win away from home again, but at least we have not lost after being 2-0 down, yeah I will give him a lot of credit, coming back in that game, incredible stuff, I'm very pleased, and we're actually back into those playoff spots although it's very deceiving because we've played two more games and the two teams below us just due to the fixture pile up and I haven't been quitting games for internationals I've just let the players go since I'm going to rotate anyway there's no real point in in messing up future when I when I might have injuries and so on and I can't rotate so I'll do it now and he's made his debut he played pretty well assist and assist or something he, he did okay um I don't know yeah go on a bit of banter uh, I don't want to rush him, nope. Um, I don't know what I'm doing in press conference. Um, that sounds about right, but I want more than that. I've done that question so many times in the last couple of seasons. Um, uh, we can, yeah, there we go. Keep it calm. For, yeah, it was something special. It was a great goal by him. Um, extra incentive. And yeah, that's it for this episode. We drew 2-2 against Bristol City. Would have preferred better. They've got a big stadium. Blink and egg. Um, goals, stadium goals right there. But next episode, I'm, I'm really looking to the future. Uh, that game against Swansea, maybe it's on TV. It's clearly a good game. Uh, yeah. I, oh, ooh, do I do Cardiff and Swansea in one episode? I might actually do that. That that might be the next episode. Cardiff and Swansea. What a, what a duo. Have I played Cardiff yet? I haven't, have I? No. Yeah, I think that's it. Where we put oh, that was funny. Sorry, I saw something in the corner. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.